So let's jump into my next tip, which is sweeping. Now, I'm going to use my um, my other box. I'll, I'll run that filtered in box and then uh, focused in box and then the, the other box. And what I want to do is I want to sweep my email. Now, sweep is kind of like setting up a rule, but it enables you to, like, like the acronym means, you get your broom out and sweep what you want to move out of your inbox. Now, if you are sweeping around your house, the analogy is that you probably will go around your table and that kind of stuff. So you can control where you sweep if you're doing that physically in the real live world. What I want to do is I want to start setting up some, uh, just the sweeping procedures to get rid of the stuff that I don't need in my inbox or actually my other box at the moment. So here I've come down, I've got a whole lot of stuff. Here's something from Power Automate. And I've got a whole lot of these in here because I've got a whole lot of Power Automate stuff I've been working on. And they're just appearing in this. And I just want to put them somewhere. I don't want to throw them in the bin. I just want to archive them. I'd like to move them somewhere. So if I click on the email, then the menu bar at the top changes. So it's one of those things inside um, Microsoft on the, on the web in particular that you've got to click on the, the email to action the other menu bar. Now, up there, you see a thing called Sweep. Now, if I click on Sweep, it brings up a little thing like this that says, OK, if you've got this coming from Planner, what do you want to do from it? Do you want to move all your messages from the inbox folder? Do you want to move some of the messages from the inbox folder and any other future messages? Do you want to keep the latest message and move the rest to the inbox folder? See? Yeah. Or do you want to move the messages from older than 10 days from the inbox folder? So it can actually give you some control there. So you might have those emails that are coming in all the time. It might be subscription emails. It might be things to do internally. And you really only need to keep the most recent one there. So you can set up a sweeping thing that keeps the uh, the latest message in your box and then moves everything else out if you want to. Now, you can control where you want to move it to. So I might want to say, oh, I want to move it into my Power Automate folder. I might want to put it into my deleted items. I could move it anywhere. I could also create a new folder here as well. But I want to move it to my Power Automate folder. And I just want to keep the latest message there. If I then go OK, it's OK. It's all done and swept them out of there too. Whoops, let me get out of that space, sorry. Let me come do another one. I'll come into my inbox, my focus box here. I only come to poly in here. Um, I only click on my poly one. I only come to sweep again. I want to move everything from poly. I want to move everything from poly. All of them at the moment. And I'm going to move it to my folder called poly. If I can go OK, it's going to do that automatically. It's done it. And then it says, do you want to view all those rules? Because you might set up a sweeping thing to clean your inbox out and then the season changes, like it will tomorrow, uh, where you might not want that rule to apply again. So if I come to my view rules inside here, these are my rules that are happening at the moment that are working inside my rules. But if I come to sweep, these are the ones that are being sweeped out there as well. I don't know why my um, my poly one hasn't been sweeped, swept away as well. So I've got these rules here, which I can play. I can turn them on and off, or I can throw them in the bin as well. So for some reason, my sweep one didn't work for me, but that's okay. So now that I've got my sweep happening, all I need to do is hit my little sweep button, and it will actually action from there. So Microsoft Planner says, this is the ones you're going to go. I'm going to use that Microsoft sweeping one. I'm just going to throw it into, I'm going to throw it in the bin, so I don't really need it, actually. I'm going to put it into my deleted items. Go OK, and it sweeps them all out of that space as well, which is really a nice way of being able to manage. Let's try another one from Power Automate, make sure I can get that to work. I'm going to come to Sweep in here. All my messages from Power Automate, I'm going to move them into my Power Automate folder. Go OK. Done. Lovely. So now that's going to happen if I come to Sweep now. No, there's only one in there, some other rules as well. So I don't know why it's doing that. That's one of those interesting things. But Sweep helps you kind of sweep stuff out, keep your inbox nice and clean, and you can control that really, really quickly from your space as well, just to kind of keep out that. Oh, look. There's so, so, Adrian, this is just a better, this is a quicker and easier way than creating rules. For Correct. It's such a quicker and easy way. Yeah. Like, that's just why would we use rules when we're sweeping people? Yeah. Sweeping the things out. And the other thing you can do there too, Michelle, is that you can always turn them on and off as well. Yes. So you, that's the kind of thing. So, they, I mean, you can do it for your subscriptions. I think you get a subscription in from Fishing World or something like that, but you yeah. went to a fishing show once and you just want to sweep them out. You can either unsubscribe them or just set up a sweep and just go bang and they're all gone automatically for you. I think it's a great thing, you know, for the subscriptions. Like if, if your boss is getting CEO magazine and you've allowed mm -hmm. half an hour on Fridays to read CEO magazine, it's just 
it's there in that folder there yep. and you don't have to think. And it's quicker than setting your rules, so much quicker. Yeah, and you'll see that in my hand now I've got in my poly, I've got one sitting in here. Yep. Um, and then if you look at my, my Power Automate, I've got 15 in there. So I, I now know they've been moved there as well. 